Tales of mythological creatures and mythical beasts have captivated our imaginations for millennia. Stories about mythical animals, supernatural monsters, and other cool fantasy creatures continue to circulate throughout the world via books, film, television, and a variety of other media outlets. Perhaps these mystical creatures are entirely symbolic and provide us with a closer look at a specific culture's fears, desires, or values, whereas other tales about mythical creatures are based on human nature or perhaps were simply invented to keep unruly children in line. People appear to be inherently drawn to these myths and lore, regardless of their origin or purpose. In today's video we will look at 10 of the oldest mythical creatures and learn how they ended up on this list. Number 10. Vampires. Vampires have taken many forms over the years. While the vampire myth originated in Europe, folk tales about deadly vampiric creatures exist in most cultures. Vampires' most predominant feature is their consumption of a person's vital essence, most commonly in the form of blood. It's worth noting that the pale and sophisticated vampire that has become popular in the media did not exist before the 19th century. We are all aware that these creatures are said to be responsible for the mischievous death of people by feeding on their blood. These are some of the most well-known ancient creatures on the planet. Their origin lays the foundation of ancient Greece. Number 9. Dragons. Dragons are one of the most well-known mythical beasts that no one wants to encounter. They are also a symbol of opportune powers, mystical appearances, and inevitability. Its origin is unknown, but some cultures in India, China, and America have myths about this creature. Archaeologists are still looking for clues or evidence to prove the animal's existence, rather than the animal itself. They are massive flying creatures with enormous wings and serpent-like faces. They are thought to have originated with the ancient Greeks and Sumerians, but that was a long time ago. Many cultures have written histories and interpretations of how they came to be. Number 8. The Hydra. Hydra is a serpent-like water monster with reptilian characteristics. A creature whose venom was so potent that even the Hydra's breath could be lethal to any man. Furthermore, the Hydra had the perplexing ability to regrow any decapitated limbs at an alarming rate. It was said that for every severed head, two more would grow in its place. Its lair was the Lake of Lerna in the ancient Peloponnese. The Hydra was known to feed off of the people of Lerna before his death at the hands of Hercules. The Hydra was said to hide in an underwater cave that served as an entrance to the underworld. Number 7. Werewolves. The werewolf or lycanthrop has a rich history that includes stories from Germanic pagan cultures, Slavic Europe, and classic Greek mythology. Despite their ancient origins, werewolves are clearly still popular today. They are folkloric humans who can shape-shift into wolves or wolf-like figures. If you are bitten or scratched by them, you will be painfully transformed into a shape-shifting wolf-man. According to a popular English version of this story, wolf-men only transform on the full moon and are immune to all weapons, except those made of silver. Number 6. Gorgon. The Gorgons, like the famous Medusa, were vicious monsters capable of turning victims to stone with a single look in ancient Greece. The Gorgon's appearance was an intriguing mix of beautiful and terrifying. Medusa was the only mortal among the three Gorgon sisters, Stheno, Uyel, and Medusa. She used to be a lovely maiden, but because Poseidon loved her, the enraged Athena turned Medusa into a hideous creature with the face of an ugly woman and snakes for hair. Worse, anyone who looked her in the eyes would be turned to stone. Gorgon myths teach us not to be fooled by appearances alone. Number 5. Basilisk. The basilisk is a serpentine creature in European legend who, like the gorgons of Greek myth, can kill with a single glance. The basilisk is known as the king of serpents, and its name translates as little king. It is said to have the ability to kill a person with a single glare, making it one of the most feared and lethal mythological creatures. They are said to be very hostile to humans, and their venom is so toxic that it can kill a man from a meter away. In one story, the basilisk's venom traveled up the spear of the warrior who stabbed it, killing not only the rider, but also his horse. Appears in literature, including works by Chaucer and Leonardo da Vinci, as well as religious texts such as the Bible. Basilisks were thought to be killed by exposing them to the odor of weasels, griffin tears, or seeing their own reflection. Number 4. Centaurs. The centaur is another human-animal hybrid from Greek mythology. Centaurs have a horse's body with a human's head and chest. While these creatures were commonly depicted as wild, their most famous centaur was named Chiron. He was regarded as the wisest and most just of the centaurs, but unlike them, he was the immortal son of Kronos, the Titan, and Phalera, the nymph. Chiron was a teacher who mentored many Greek heroes, including Achilles and Heracles. Number 3. 
a Crabu Amulus. The Scorpion Man, also known as the Acrabu Manu, is a monstrous creature that originated in ancient Mesopotamia, specifically in Babylonian creation myths. They are a cross between a scorpion and a man, with a scorpion's body and a man's face, torso, and arms. While they are terrifying in appearance and were created to wage war against gods, while others on this list are truly deadly, this creature would stand as guardians, and often warn travelers who might be in danger. This deep devotion to the causes they serve can be traced back to the first, who guarded the gates of the sun god Shamash in the Mashu Mountains. They kept the gates open so he could leave each day and return each night. Number 2. Golems. Golems are well known in Jewish lore as beings made of inanimate matter such as clay or mud that have been brought alive to serve some purpose. In some stories, for example, a golem is created to defend against anti-Semitic attacks. Legend has it that golems are uniquely obedient and will follow exact and literal orders, so their creators had to be cautious about what they asked them to do. Although mud and clay are the most commonly used materials for golem construction, golems made of wood, wax, and metal are also depicted in mythology. Golems expand in size over time. When a golem grows too large, it can rebel against its creator and hatch its own plans. Number 1. Minotaur. According to Greek myth, the Minotaur was the offspring of the Queen of Crete and a majestic bull that came from the sea. The Minotaur had a human body with the head and tail of a bull. Because the newborn Minotaur only ate humans, King Minos built a labyrinth to imprison it and sent human sacrifices as food for the creature. The Minotaur was eventually killed by Theseus, the son of Athens' king, with the help of Minos's daughter, who fell in love with Theseus and aided him with a sword and a length of rope. After the beast was slain, the rope was tied outside the labyrinth so that it could be followed all the way through. Well that's the end of today's video. Have you heard of all the creatures on today's list? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next strange and unusual video.